Hey everyone, welcome back to uh, the second part of uh, Scrolls of Shymoon. Now, before I go to this door, because I bet something's going to happen, uh, let's go through the bad news first. It's I'm sad to report that the award-winning video game composer... What's his name? I'm sorry, I have to have his name over here. Norman Corbell. You may know his work from the games such as Indigo, Prophecy, Heavy Rain... And even beyond two souls. Unfortunately, he's lost his battle with cancer, and I know what it's like to lose a favorite musician, so it's a tragedy, yes. But, we gotta move on, enjoy what he's done in the past, and just, just enjoy that. And remember that he's been immortalized in the music that he's created, so. There's more about the art, about what Quantum Dream said about him, how, you know, they really enjoyed how, what a great, good person he was, great composer he was, and that's basically, basically it for that one. The next article, going into a little lighter of a mood here, is actually interesting, let's go in here. Oh boy. Oh, I hate this music. And then we got the platforming part. Bungie actually had made a video, a comedic video, and a serious video, I get, not serious, but well, the serious matter. There was this guy named Timothy that gave um, this guy a letter named DJ, I don't think this is his real name, but might be, might be, I don't know. But in the video he talks about how his Halo 4 disc is defective, and Bungie will actually replace it for you. Oh shoot. Can't replace my life though. But yeah, they'll replace it for you, even though, even though they didn't even make it. So that's extremely nice of them. Oh, gee, that was that. Hell yeah. Bungie's turning into the new Valve. Yeah, Valve hasn't done anything in them forever. Crap. But in, in terms of how the community respects them, and how much feedback, the feedback they um, comment on, or they respond to community comments. Which, I don't know why 343 isn't doing it, but... Well, we'll take the charity where it's given, no matter who gives it. So then, it's not much it's not really an article, it's just a video to watch, so... I'll link that in the description, and it's an article by Kotaku. And the first one I forgot to mention is by M N NBC. Hopefully I won't die this time. Okay. And then the last... Yeah, there's short articles too, so... Keep that in mind, so if you want to read, you don't have to read much. In fact, you don't have to read one of them, because it's a video. The last vid, the last... <laughs> Excuse me? The last v Wow, okay, the last article is by PC Mag, and well... Basically, there's a whole bunch of other articles that are talking about it, too. Ugh! Talking about how China will... Is thinking about opening up its game market. People say lifting the ban, but they but they also say the ban the ban on video game consoles hasn't been really enforced. Seeing as I've heard of, I've I've never I didn't even think there was a ban on video games in China. Didn't know it was corrupting their youth. Oh crud! But that that's apparently the reason why that they've been quote unquote banning them. And even if they did ban them. Ban the major game consoles. Was there something behind that guy? They still they they had something from 2009 called the the Zim, Zemo Zimbo Zebo, which I just found out about it like a year or so ago, and it's it's basically a cruddier end knockoff of the Wii. Oh oh my gosh, I made that. Okay, I made that one. Cruddier knockoff of the Wii with a lot worse graphics, but still trying to run the same games. It even had Resident Evil 4 on it. But it was released in South America and China and a couple other countries, I don't know. And speaking of their ban being not enforced, they still have video game marketers, market, marketers, market, market companies and companies, stores. I'm sorry if I get confused with all the terminology. It's really difficult to play a game at the same time. Oh, there's that painting back there. 
Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I probably spoiled it for me a little bit. So basically those are the articles then. There's another point I want to make. I'll think about it. Oh yes, there was there there was a problem in 2004 with um, PS2 pirating consoles, like the actual hardware, and building their own and copying it. Oh jeez. Hey, it's Simon Otep. Oh, he's dead. Simon Simon Otep. Yep, so what do you think about all those articles? Did you ever enjoy listening to... Uh, I apologize yet again. I, Norman Corbell. Norman Corbell. Yeah, I got it right. I'm sorry if I got your name wrong, Mr. Corbell, wherever you are. With whatever you believe happens after life, it's up to you. Crud. Better not die. There was a custom story that you keep falling and you die, and there's like no way to survive it. What the... Um... I hope this is not where it stops. Well, I'm stuck. Anyway, you could comment if you like the video. I'm supposed to fall in that water. It's not working! Hold on. I might have to do no clip real quick. It does not work. Really? We're gonna have to reload this. I'm not gonna move once I finish that. Well, this is it. irritating. But yes, have you ever listened to that guy's music? Anyone out? Is there any other famous or any musician that you've known that you that you've lost over the years? Because I certainly have one. Oh, and if you're wondering who that is, it's Paul Gray from Slipknot. So. Yeah, I know he's not the singer or anything, but he was, he is the main, he was the main writer for the band, so. But in lighter news, go ahead and watch that Bungie video and see what you like about it. See how you like it. And I'll keep failing this for another few minutes. Oh yes, like and favorite if you enjoyed, and if anyone watches this video, maybe you can give me some suggestions for things to do next time. Or if this is even a good idea. Not even a good idea. I haven't been doing anything. Alright, so here's a try hard time. I feel like having the gun in my hand kinda throws me off a little bit. And I didn't turn notifications off. I hate all these Steam groups that they ask you to join and you feel bad if you don't join join them and then they bug you about stuff that you don't really care about. <gasps> Are you kidding me? It seemed like for that moment I was running faster than normal. Yeah, I know you're right there. I think it's better if I just walk and jump. Oh wow. I thank you, Gold Source Engine, for being not so good. Cause I clearly didn't make that. Oh please. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna jump forward so I know I don't get stuck in a wall. Wish I could save it. Shit, shit, shit. Uh, sorry for my language. I'm trying to. There we go. I'm trying to avoid swearing. Just so I can get some younger audiences. But that didn't work, so that's. Oh, wow, multiple chapters, so that's a good thing. And I'm guessing one's easy to save. Come on. That one, because it's glowing. There we go. I survived, don't worry about it. 
And we'll just about wrap this up when I walk through another door. Let's go over here. That's not even, that doesn't look like a door to me. There's not even a lever over there. Oh, great, I got some Indiana Jones stuff now. See if I can make it. Uh oh.